now uh, you all can see my screen, right? So now you can see unordered list is something like uh, you want to uh, uh, make a list. List as in uh, one, uh, uh, let's say for example, uh, you want to say a list, okay? Uh, is everybody with me here? Okay. So now yes, let's sir. say for example, I want to say list one. Okay. That's good. Uh, 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 it was that you, I am being heard and uh, you guys are still uh, listening and interested. Okay. Uh, so if you see here, uh, please uh, do this. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, please uh, type this on your screens. Unordered list. U stands for unordered, and L stands for list. So under that you have uh, yeah, you nest it, and what all you have in the list is something like this. Okay. Now let's see what output we get. Let's see what output we get. I think uh, something else uh, was uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's. So, do you see that uh, list here? I uh, wrote uh, it's an unordered list. List one, list two, list three. Uh, is everybody getting the output here? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now just cut copy paste and do exactly the same, except for the fact that instead of unordered list, you instead of the U, you make it an O. Okay, that's all what has to be done. So I'll just go ahead and I will run it again. So that's ordered list so that's ordered list for you it's a uh, number that's all uh, it's got to it okay so uh, that's about ordered list so now uh, please uh, please let me know if uh, we, uh, you need a, a minute okay so let, next what we do is we'll go to a table so everybody is uh, familiar with table so Yes, everybody. Yes, you must have seen. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, what do you get under table uh, as far as uh, HTML five is concerned? So, what do you get on the top of the table? Table head. Yes. Title. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So you can see. I mean, it's all that there for me here. So P head. So that's the header. So that's the P head, and under the header. So what can we write? Uh, number of rows, right? So TR. Rows. Correct. Very nice. Table rows. OK. And under uh, TR, we will get T? TD. What is that? TD. TD. Nice. Nice. OK. TD. Good, good. OK. I want, let's imagine, I want uh, um, something like, uh, but uh, okay, I forgot this thing. One second. For header, I forgot. Uh, for header, uh, I I need a something like a, a header name. So what we'll call it as header name is th, and we'll call it name. And uh, another one is we'll call it, uh, uh, we'll put another one and we'll call it email. Okay. So we'll come to this guy another uh, just uh, soon. I'm just, okay. So let's see the preview. Okay, so now you see that. So the table does not 
I, I have not mentioned any particular border or it's not got any kind of an alignment or anything. It's just got a header and the header, they have names, name and email. So let's uh, populate the particular uh, table now. Okay. So let's uh, populate the table. So the table, as you rightly mentioned, uh, rows and under rows, you have PD, that's the columns. So name, uh, anybody has a name here? How about uh, um, Roger? Roger Feather. And uh, one is uh, email. Let's uh, try and uh, make it uh, rf at gmail.com. So let's uh, save it and uh, let's see the preview. Okay, everybody is getting this. Uh, I hope uh, uh, everybody is working uh, it out on their systems. Is that uh, Fine. Yes, sir. Shall we go ahead? Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, is it necessary that the TH? Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh, am I audible, sir? Uh, my go name ahead, is Karthik, sir. Uh, who is this? Yes, okay, yes, sir. Yes, so is it you... necessary that the oh, T perfect, element perfect. should come in uh, the T uh, T head element itself? Yes, Karthik. Tell me. I mean, I, alternatively, can you put it uh, uh, like this? You mean uh, like under a TR, or what is uh, what is the other alternative you mean to say? Or you mean to say uh, you uh, put it on, in a TD? Is that what you're saying? No, sir. Uh, let's try it putting under TR. And uh, here, you mean? Like, like this? One second. Like this, you mean? Under T head, you want to put a TR. And under TR, you want to put a TD. Is that what you're saying? Like this? Uh, no, no, sir. No, sir. I'm speaking about the TH element uh, uh, being placed under the TR element, uh, like outside the T head element. One second. Huh? Okay. Uh, so now the TH element, this, uh, yeah. uh, can you repeat that please? Yeah. This TH element uh, that has the content as name, shall we place it outside the T head element? That is below, uh, below uh -huh. the T head element, that is TR element. So these elements below, below the TR here, like here. Is that yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like this. I have not tried it. Uh, to be honest, I have not tried it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. 
this is what happens so can i uh, say something uh, here it seems this? to be it seems to be coming on the same line Hello. can i say something about this sir? it seems to be coming on the about same PH? line i mean yes 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 please please uh, okay uh, students yes. so uh, whatever the content that you place uh, as dh irrespective of whether it is mm -hmm. in d head or d body mm -hmm. or in tr it will uh, be with uh, bold fa bold fashion mm -hmm. the dh element uh, wherever you place the content that you have in th will be in the bold fashion okay you can always place it outside the th that is possible but the thing is the content will appear in bold fashion right sir right okay excuse me sir are we not yes. supposed to use the t body tag to you know just like how you use the t head tag the same way all the rows are of the rows of the table that's supposed to be inside the oh. t body yes sure you can use it the t head you can so why is it body. why is it required like <laughs> we saw the table just works fine without it Yes, that's fine. But uh, if you are adding more and more content using more number of TRs, then probably you would like to distinguish between the T head and T body. That's the reason why you should have a T body. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. So uh, that is what uh, we had. Maybe I have to save it first. And then let's take a preview. OK. OK. Uh, so now, uh, next, uh, everybody is familiar with forms. Let's uh, go for a form. So how to put table grid, sir? Yes. What do you think? Means uh, lines uh, used to separate the columns and all, rows and columns. Oh, uh, that will be taken up a little okay. later. OK. Uh, uh, so, uh, once you start. Uh, there are, there are, I see I'm just introducing you to uh, the, uh, uh, the the very introduction of HTML. Uh, Manjula Madam will come a little later for uh, the, uh, there is a still a lot, lot more uh, about uh, HTML. So it will, uh, there is uh, self, uh, self adding, self spacing and uh, uh, span, all those things, border width, all those things, okay? So uh, I will, uh, this is a, the moment I'm just uh, going for the introduction of HTML, just uh, okay, for the basic structure. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just take a small look at forms. So you, even you can see here, uh, head, there is, uh, uh, there are, you can, you can do, Align, uh, um, align is equal to center and all that, all those things. Okay, P align and all that. I'm not going into the depth of all that at the moment. Okay, V align, P al uh, uh, align equal to center, all those things. So right now, let's go into forms. Uh, so uh, when we begin with this, uh, the attribute uh, we will have is form action first. So when we mean by form action, this is an attribute. Okay, so that's an element, right? So each element has a attribute. Okay, so when we say action, action means that means to say, when the form is submitted, it has to go to some particular page, let's say it, it would uh, uh, most likely be a uh, uh, a server chart, it would be uh, 
ASP uh, or uh, uh, ASP.NET, uh, uh, that kind of a web page. So uh, let's uh, let's call a web page like. Uh, but for now, since we are not doing server side programming, I will simply uh, say. Uh, home dot html or something like that or, or let's let's uh, let's make uh, a pseudo kind of a page called home dot php okay so uh, let's make it a pseudo page kind of html and then let's have a div tag uh, see, uh, when do we use div tags i'll just come to div tags okay let me just finish uh, Diff tag. Uh, let let me finish the content first, and then I'll come back to. The Diff, Diff tag is used when we have to make a block so or create a block what, for having uh, like a semantic. Let's name. call it uh, first name. Sorry. Diff tag is used when we have to create a block. Uh, could, could you please repeat that? Or like we have to give it a semantic meaning. Exactly. Correct. Uh, especially it is for block level elements. A div tag is for very nice. A div tag is for block level elements. Whereas a span is for inline elements. That is exactly what uh, div tag is used for. I will uh, quickly show you what how, uh, how uh, a div tag applies to a block rather than an inline uh, just one uh, element or something. Uh, so let me. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to first finish the content, and then uh, go ahead with uh, explaining it to you as to what exactly div tag does uh, with the help of uh, an example. So now, let's say for example, I want to put a text uh, text field, just like uh, when you input your username and password in a login page. So uh, what would you do? So uh, the uh, label would be uh, uh, it could be username or I'm just making it a first name. And if I want to put in a text area, uh, text field, uh, please remember there's something uh, there's a small difference between text field and text area. So in text field, uh, input type is equal to text. Correct. I'll sh uh, will show. We'll just go ahead and the name is equal to. F uh, name. So, uh, so would somebody uh, tell me what? Uh, okay, uh, this input type is equal to text is giving me the uh, text field. It is drawing me the text field. What is name is equal to F name? Uh, what what would would this uh, what would be the use of this particular attribute? Attribute. This is attribute and its value. Okay. Think, uh, it so will what be would be the uh, uh, use? First of all, uh, let's let's. Uh, how about the text field? And when we click on that, like it will vanish and it will allow the user to type whatever you want. One step. That is how it will correct, be saved. Correct. Correct. Very nice. So. Yes, correct. So once the uh, it goes to the server side uh, page, right? We can extract whatever name we had put in the text field, correct? We can extract whatever name we had put in the text field uh, with the help of this particular name, correct? It's something like a variable given to this particular text field. But my uh, uh, My well, let's see whether it's working. At least why? Uh, okay. So probably I had not saved it. So you can see first name and uh, text field. So whatever I'm going to write here, and when when I do a post, uh, I have not yet. Uh, created a submit button or something. So when I click on that submit button, let's imagine I have a I have a submit button here. When I click a submit button, 
uh, in this particular uh, in this particular uh, server side uh, form i would uh, extract the name whatever i had done here with the help of this particular uh, f name because why uh, i would have let's imagine i would have multiple of them let's imagine something like this first name and then uh, last name and then let's call this guy l name so let's save this guy let's save it and uh, let's do a quick preview let's do a quick preview yeah so you can see here that now we have first name and last name and now if i don't associate a name with this particular text how will uh, the server side page know which is which so it's best that i give a name to this particular text field so let's uh, it's they're all sticking to each other so let's put a break क्या हुआ एनी यस एनी एनीथिंग दैट लेट्स हाउ अबाउट जस्ट आई एम यूज टू दिस हाउ अबाउट नाउ यस ओके फाइन so uh now uh, now let's uh, uh let's come back to uh, the div tag okay so now that i have put some content uh, in the div tag in fact i have now i have two div tag uh, two uh, div tags so uh first of all before i uh, since uh, you guys told me that something told me that it's for uh, a block level uh, uh, elements right so first of all let's quickly uh, write uh some css uh, styling uh, as far as uh, uh this is concerned so you, you can write it that under the head section okay? let's close it so let's do some kind of a test, uh, uh some kind of a styling uh, to that block level uh, div tag for block uh, that section okay so now let's uh, give it a name first uh, how about something like my dip okay and uh, let's uh, give it some uh, styles let's do some styling let's say something like a background color background color background color uh, which color do i like maybe i like blue so i'll just put right blue okay. and then just end it with a uh, okay end it with a funny um, color what else so uh, i would like to align it to the left so uh, text align you can align it to anywhere you want see just you choose wherever you want let's let's start off with left okay and uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's for now let's see uh, we'll take it one at a time so now what i want to do is i want to these particular styles for to get applied to that particular block so that means to say which block i'm not talking about so the start of this div and the end of this div so this particular block i want this particular styles to apply correct so uh, what would i do what would I do? add a class to that div yes a class very equals my div very nice very nice class is equal to 
my tip. So, so please uh, keep in mind, uh, uh, I have put my div, though I have named this particular div as a dot, yeah, it starts with a dot, that does not mean to say that you have to include the dot, okay? So that's the syntax here. Uh, for the style names to start with a dot, uh, to, uh, to start with a dot. So the style name, uh, my div, of course, it's like a variable. You can give whatever name you want. You can uh, give it uh, GIT also. It's a variable, right? You can, uh, you can uh, call it uh, anything you want. So just let's be, uh, uh, let's give it a little uh, uh, meaningful name. So my div. I hope uh, my this anonymous. Okay, yeah. Let's do a control. Now, uh, since uh, my div is for this, everything will be applied for this particular list. Now let's be. Now let's take a small uh, check. Okay, so now you can see background. I had put the background color as blue. Okay, and uh, I had put the text align is equal to left. So anyway, by default, the text align was left for this particular tag. So uh, this uh, first name, last name came into the uh, first name. Sorry, not last name. First name uh, the alignment was to the left. It, it didn't come like to the center or it didn't come to the right. So now uh, this uh, looks a little uh, shabby to me uh, that the whole, uh, this one is coming, uh, the whole blue uh, strip is coming right till the end. So let's uh, decrease it little uh, uh, by a little, maybe up till here maybe, okay? Just to make it uh, look a little nice. So uh, uh, right now we will not be going deep into uh, uh, CSS as uh, we just mentioned, but uh, just to give you the idea of div, uh, I just took the example of uh, a style. Okay. So now what I will do is I will, uh, since I just mentioned, I will reduce that, uh, this one. Anything, uh, what can we, what, what can we have? Uh, what style can we have here? Color something max 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 max. What about max width or something like that? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, and probably how about uh, some pixels uh, like the uh, inherit and none? So that means to say inherit means it will inherit whatever is there in the above tags. But right now, let's not go into that again. Okay, inherit and none. So instead, uh, we will give it some kind of uh, a number in uh, some 300 or 400 pixels. 300 pixels. Okay. So now let's save this and let's uh, do a preview. Okay. So you can see that uh, something like this is done. And uh, let's take uh, something else. Uh, so now if I take uh, this equal to center, you can see that it is aligned in the center. It didn't align in the center. Yeah, so you can see that this is uh, this out of the 400 or something pixels I wrote, the text part, the text part and the text field, correct? Because uh, this uh, uh, this whole this thing, this whole thing 
got applied to this particular block the label the label as well as the text field so out of the possible uh, 400 pixels this is maybe 400 pixels it came in the center maybe if it's right the first name and text field will be to the so far so good uh, everybody yeah yes or no yes sir so now let's yes, say yes. yeah uh, so now you can also uh, do uh, div uh, now we did it only for this section you can still probably do it uh, for this section also like say div and maybe if you end it here outside the form it will be applied to the whole form instead of just this first uh, first name and uh, uh, this uh, sorry uh, the the label and the text okay. you just uh, can just keep fooling around uh, the there is a lot lot of stuff to explore okay so i believe uh, uh, you guys are uh, comfortable uh, up to this point am i am i am i right yes yes sir yes, yes sir okay very nice yes sir so so please make sure yes, that uh, please make sure that you guys uh, are uh, whenever there's a, a lab you guys are programming at the same time don't uh, just uh, say that uh, let's let's uh, do it another time and uh, i anyway the, there's a video See, because you're going to do it anyways why not do it now uh, just keep just keep that kind of an attitude with you okay so uh, uh, that's uh, as far as this is concerned so now let's uh, let's have a, let's have a, a text area Let's have a text area. Let's put that also in a div. In fact, uh, what would be the input type for uh, uh, text area? Uh, what would be the uh, tag for text area? It is text area itself. Okay. It's not like input type is equal to text area or something. It's text area itself is a tag. Okay, and uh, you can have a name so that you can collect what all information is there in that particular you you have seen a text area right let's say for example in an email when you compose an email uh, the body of the email uh, it's pretty big correct so uh, that you can say is something like a, a text area so uh, you have to pick up all that information uh, Let's say call it message, and uh, let's uh, just leave uh, that guy alone. Nothing, nothing much. Mm. Oh, we didn't put a label there. Uh, let's co cut, copy, paste. I love cut, cut, copy, pasting. Label message. Uh, I hate this uh, coming here and saving. Okay, I would I would like to uh, type a little more before checking the output. I would like to go a little more ahead. Okay, so now uh, the next thing what we would probably uh, see is uh, like uh, uh, something like uh, uh, a select kind of uh, control. You can see here select and then. Uh, Name, it's like a different drop down kind of control.
okay so which are the possible uh, drop down uh, options uh, that we can have in uh, gender yes so the particular option so you write option and then uh, value is equal to let's put it email uh, and uh, and this is what i would like to be seen email this is what i like to be seen uh, on the web page this is the value which is taken just like uh, whatever value you put in the text field i'll just cut copy paste to this okay and uh, i i would want this value if this is chosen i would like this value please note the difference so this is the value which i would take uh, which i would read in the server side page so and that's it so let's uh, at this point of time let's uh, maybe i should put some breaks or something maybe okay so there it is so maybe i should have put a break Email, mail. Okay, so if I choose this, this is this one, and uh, send. So let's put a break. Okay, so now since we have uh, done with this, I'll just copy this. and i'll have page we don't have anything with the number okay so we don't want this we want input type is equal to uh Wait. how about putting on page oh we already copied a uh, label so input type is equal to i'll put uh, a number so that the number pops up and uh, name is equal to i'll make it uh, the variable name i'll make it age and uh, by default i'll put a value value is equal to uh, maybe you guys are like 20 years old and uh, unnecessary Thanks. I will take off. Okay. Fine. So, uh, everybody is with me up till here. Yes. Oh, you want some time? I uh, maybe or I went to Lana Stock. Too sorry. slow. I think uh, the understanding is there, right? Uh, nothing uh, difficult here, correct? Yes. Others? Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Need uh, some? You need some time? Yeah. No. No problem. Uh, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, take your own uh, time. Once you are done, let me know. Let me know if you want me to scroll up or down or something. Uh, so I have a doubt here. Hello. Yes. Yes. Please. Uh, yes. So yes. Actually please. I'm Go ahead. The code. I'm typing the code, and I did for the background color uh -huh. also. But in my, uh, uh, for my HTML file, it's not showing anything okay. else. Like, like here, which is not been seen. Yeah, 
Yes, sir. The code is correct, but I'm not getting what is the error there. Uh, do you have an HTML editor? Uh, yes, sir. I'm using a Visual. Or uh, are you typing it in Notepad? Uh, I'm using Visual Basic Code here. Visual Studio. Are all these uh, okay? Are all these uh, uh, guys coming uh, by themselves, or uh, are you sorry? Uh, are you typing it? Uh, are you typing it fully? Are you typing all this? Yes, or, yes, sir. Uh, are you getting something like a drop down once you come? To, you know, no, no, there are no errors. After I compile the program, there are no errors. Uh, uh, you're saying that the background color is not. Uh, you cannot see the background color. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Uh, in this, uh, typically, uh, see, uh, you will not get any errors uh, as such. Okay, it's not like a C uh, or a Java kind of a programming language. Typically, uh, the only uh, difference is uh, you will not see the uh, uh, output what uh, you expect. So, okay, so, uh, so, huh? uh, so what that that is one thing. Uh, so now you are saying that you're not getting the blue color, correct? Like you're not you're not getting the, this particular yes, blue sir. color, am I right? Uh, yes, what sir. about the rest? Are you are you getting the text aligned a little in the center? Yes, sir. That's all I'm getting. Like that? And not here. Yes. Or even this is not. Even this is here. No, no, that's right. I'm. Getting... You are getting this kind of in the. I mean, in at least somewhere yes, here. That's good. Yes, sir. Maybe can you check? Can you check the spelling of, of all these background color? Maybe you have typed as P O L O U R or something. No, sir. I'm not getting it. Maybe but you I'll have check you it typed once it as again. U R. No, sir. It's right. C -O -L -O -R. What is your color spelling? C O L O R. So even I have the same error. I tried. Uh, Changing color in the code. It works. Which one? Background dash color and uh, light blue. And uh, can you just strike strike out the whole thing and maybe do it uh, and uh, type it all over again? Yes, sir. You're getting this, now. correct? Are you getting this drop down by the? Yes, sir. I'm getting the uh, drop down. Are you getting this drop down by the way? Okay. Yes, so sir. So now you type this, okay, by itself. And once you type L, okay. you're getting all this. Uh, I'll do. Once you type L, you're you are getting all this. Last name in the duty. I'll do that again, sir. Mm. And uh, the semicolon. Any luck? So just show where you have written the class called my dip uh, the division. My dev is this correct? Not here, sir. In the dev. But she's uh, she's getting text align center. That's correct. Yes, sir, I got it. Yeah, uh, what was the problem? What do you think the problem was? Uh, the syntax error. The bracket was missing. Okay. okay. 
this bracket you mean okay let's uh, shall we proceed um, then yes that's sir. nice that uh, Right. Uh, okay. So here you can see the default uh, value which I put in was twenty. You can increment it, or you can decrement it, and all that stuff. So after the, the last name, also there's a. Break which will be nice. Last name probably here. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's uh, about uh, age. And uh, one last thing that we'll do before we go to the submit button is uh, we'll we'll go to a date. We'll go to a date. So uh, again, cut, copy, paste, label. Uh, let's put in some birthday or something. Then, uh, so what you will do is input type is equal to instead of number, let's put in date. Okay, and uh, let's put name is equal to birthday. Let's uh, knock this guy out. And uh, let's put a break here. Okay, so you can see the HTML control birth. Day has uh, cropped up, and you can see the day uh, the calendar control has come up. Okay, pretty uh, simple, right? It's all there. You just have to make use of all these things. Correct. Okay. Shall we go ahead, guys? Yes, sir. Just uh, shut down some of the screens, which I don't need. Okay, so let's uh, do this. So the last thing that uh, before, the, a couple of things in fact, okay, before we go ahead is, so let's have a break again, and let's have a button. Submit uh, type is equal to submit. Okay, so we'll have a button. And value is equal to we'll name it submit. We'll call it submit. And the name also we'll call it submit. So we don't need the end tag. Just we can just do that. And uh, 
quickly will uh, uh, take a look at it, how it looks. Here it is, submit. Okay. So, so later when you, once you get uh, you know, Angular JS and Bootstrap and all that, I mean, uh, those kind of, when you use those kind of uh, features, you will see that they're all much pretty than, or prettier than all these guys. Okay. So it's just that we just have to learn the basic concepts of uh, HTML. Rectangular JS and Bootstrap and all, once you use those particular Java script things, yeah, you can see that it's much better. So, uh, so the one Excuse last me, sir. thing that, I, yes, yes. Uh, at the end uh, of the session, can you uh, share us this file, this particular file? Yes, yes, sure. definitely, no problem at all. Okay. Just, just remind me. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, my memory is not that great at, as it used to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the last thing that I would uh, want to to do is uh, probably. Uh, uh, I don't think I. Uh, one thing I think which I uh, forgot is a href tab, like a, a, a tag, sorry, a href tag. And I would like to uh, do that uh, here itself, okay? Let, let, let's go back to this uh, paragraph. Go back to this paragraph, okay? Go back to this paragraph and uh, go back to the paragraph. And then maybe, let's say, I will say something like, read more and dot 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 and after doing that i will say uh, what's that it's a equal to http I'll just simply say google.com. And uh, that's about it. And uh, and what would I like to be uh, as a link? Maybe I'll just say Google read more so i'll just say read more and uh, probably it would be google okay so let's uh, save this let's uh, do a preview here it is okay so uh, google.com you went to google.com. So uh, maybe, maybe you do not. Uh, so what happened was, uh, maybe you do not, you want to open it in a new tab. Okay, you don't want uh, this particular, uh, this particular page uh, to vanish and uh, this google.com uh, to come uh, on top of this, or instead, uh, replace this uh, index.html. So, uh, what shall we do? Can I make a guess? So what would the blank? Blank. Very blank. nice. Very nice. Good. Good. Excellent. You guys uh, are uh, great. So I'll just say target. Will do. Uh, Is that correct? That's correct, right? So let's uh, save that. I will check it uh, the next time I execute. In the meanwhile, 
let me finish what uh, I was trying to finish. Okay. So, um, image. One thing what remained was uh, an image tag, correct? So, let's uh, put an image tag. So, you can see here, uh, image tag again does not need uh, 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 ending tag. Correct. Closing tag uh, is not uh, necessary. But what are the attributes uh, of image tag? You need a particular uh, SRC. source. Source. Correct. So source is equal to something. Uh, so let's see if I have something here. So I don't have anything here at the moment. So I have something here. A bird. So I'll uh, take this whole uh, folder. Uh, copy. I'll put it in this particular. Oh, second. I'll put it uh, here. Okay. So you can either put it at the same level as uh, same directory as this particular HTML, or you can make a images uh, folder and put it in that. Uh, this is a good programming practice that you put the images under some particular folder and maybe all the HTML files in this uh, particular folder. Okay. So uh, when I do that. Uh, images. Okay, you can see that it's come automatically. Word dot PNG. Right. And save. And uh, okay, let's see. That's uh, that a bird. So maybe let's let, let's imagine we want a smaller a smaller version of this. We don't want this to be so big. What shall we do? Increase uh, the width of it, sir. It it. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, change the uh, width. Width uh, is equal to. Let's make it like. 200 and uh, let's give it an alternate just in case that does not uh, render I'll uh, put it as uh, some word okay save then let's see the preview Happened. Okay, so that there it is. Let's close this. It will unnecessarily confuse us. So that's uh, that. So you can see, and uh, if this was not if, if this was not there, then uh, some bird uh, would have come up. Now let's say for example, uh, images one. We type it as images one. And we save it. We know that we don't have a folder called images one at all. Let's, uh, I hope I saved it. Okay. So now you can see that this is what happened. Some word that's alternate. So instead of uh, the, uh, the image, you will get uh, whatever alternate has to be displayed. So that's some word. Okay. So let's make this correct and uh, save it so that's uh, that so uh, uh, guys uh, that's what i had in store for uh, you today and uh, is there anything uh, that uh, 
Uh, Yadish sir, Jajendra sir, yeah. anybody around there? Uh, Manjula madam? Anybody that you guys would like to add something? In fact, even uh, we have some students, uh, would you guys like to add something? I'm sure you guys uh, know uh, yes, sir. a lot of, a lot, a lot. Do you guys, would you guys like to add something? Uh, uh, to whatever is being taught? Uh, you so just wanted to know whether the students are comfortable working. They don't have any issues. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No internet no, issues. Issue. No laptop issues. It was the audio I'm today? Issue. It was good, sir. It was good. Okay. Uh, the pace uh, was. Uh, anybody? Uh, anybody of you were having difficulty with? A system having a system or something or all of you are well equipped yeah. anybody having any kind of difficulty with uh, that uh, saying that you are not having a laptop you don't have a system to work and things like that internet issues anything of that kind okay no ma'am you are comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, yeah, ma yes, ma'am. Just wanted to know about tomorrow's session. Uh, tomorrow, um, tomorrow shall we have a combined uh, class like this and cover portion, or you want it to be a doubt clearing session? Combined class, ma'am. Combined. 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 Class. We can continue with the portion. Combined class. Is it the opinion of all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, I think it will. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.